So this is the Fizby Wisby, and the main purpose of it is to get the nerve signals to my spine and my brain because I pedal with my hands to pedal my legs, and then it's like, well, why aren't my legs pedaling themselves? So it helps with the nerve connection, and it's also important with keeping my legs loose and just keeping them moving around, and it's actually a really good workout for my arms as well. So overall, it's a wonderful piece of equipment, and I'm glad a family friend made it for me. So, yeah. Alright, so now that my muscles are nice and loose, we're going to go inside and get my muscles to contract on the FES bike. It's time to put the stimulation pads on and that's what they look like. I have larger ones and I also have smaller ones. So the smaller ones go on my glutes and the larger ones go on my quads and my hamstrings. So I'll put those on right now. So I put two stimulation pads on each muscle group and then these stimulation pads will get my muscles to contract. And it's really good for preventing the muscles from atrophying. Now that I have the stimulation pads on my muscle groups, I have to attach these cords from the bike to these pads to get the electricity to shock and contract the muscles. Okay, I signed into my patient account and my resistance at 0.5 with my RPMs at 42. So now I just hit go. And this beginning process is where the bike just has a warm up so there's no electrical stimulation shocks at first. All it's really doing is moving my legs in a nice rotation for the first minute. And then as the first minute kind of approaches, then the stimulation will go up. And everything is monitored on this screen. I'm at the active transition now. So stimulation is slowly ramping up. And if needed, if it was way too strong for me, I would press the limit stimulation button or I would hit the stop button. And I can also increase my resistance as my muscles get stronger. And I can also add the RPMs to make myself go faster. And that speed is what I'm going right now and that's the targeted speed that I want. And if I ever want to change anything, I go to configure. And that shows my muscle groups and how much stimulation they're at. If the cogwheel is gray, that means there's enough electrical stimulation going through my legs and my legs and the muscles are contracting enough that the machine doesn't have to work and that I am working. So my left leg's doing about 55% of the work, whereas my right is doing about 45%. Now you can see a bulge on my leg, and if you could feel it right now, you'd feel that the muscles are contracting. So this is a wonderful workout to keep your muscles in shape. So sometimes my stander isn't in the place that I want it to be, so I have to move it. So I'm just going to grab it and bring it into the living room. Alright, that's a pretty good spot because I have enough room to park my chair next to it lift it up and transfer on in. But before I get in, 
I actually wear these leg braces that help with the arches of my feet. So I'm going to put those on and I'll be back. Go close to the edge. I lift this tray up, lift this handlebar up, this knee supporter, I move out of the way. I get myself to the edge of the seat, kind of throw my legs. And it doesn't really matter too much because if I have these braces on, it's not like I'm gonna twist or roll an ankle because they're supported. So now I put this hip supporter back on, bring this down, scoot backwards, and then I strap my feet in, and then I'll put the knee brace thing down, I'll bring that down, and then I will crank myself up. So the benefits of the standard are it's good for blood flow, and it's good for your bones, because, you know, they're supporting weight. And it just feels good to be upright because if you're sitting in your chair, it can get uncomfortable. So this also helps with, uh, you know, back pain and stuff by standing upright and just stretching out your back. So I love using this too. I use it for about 30 minutes to an hour. And I try to do it every day. This thing uh, squeaks a lot, so here we go. And then right now I'm just using this lever to crank myself up. And it's perfect to have this tray up here because I can, I can either do homework, draw, eat dinner, a lot of fun things I can do. So it's helpful to have this tray. And the nice thing too is that although I can be upright with the exoskeleton and walk around, this allows me to have a table and I don't have to really worry about my balance as much because I can put my hands and arms up freely. And this piece up here is snug against my abdominal area. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the different pieces of equipment that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. It definitely helps keep me active and my legs stay nice and strong and fit. And yeah, 